gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. I'm Major Clanger, and you're joining me for the final part of my Milsim series, Operation Ice Thunder. If you've watched uh, all five of these videos, then well done to your soldier, I'm impressed. If you haven't, then I would recommend that you at least go back and check out part four, the APC action. Uh, even if I do say so, I think it was pretty epic. We're into the last probably about half hour of the the day. The British forces we've been pretty much on the back foot right from the, the get go, and it looks like that the Argentinians have taken it. But uh, we've still got some fight in us left. Particularly if uh, our attack on their APC was anything to go by. Now I didn't see it myself, but I certainly heard it. I'd been taken out of the APC and was back at the command getting rebriefed and ready to go out where I what I heard sounded like uh, artillery going off and uh, catching up with the players later on and after the game uh, they tell me that the amount of pyro that we managed to lob at their APC uh, was something quite spectacular now back to the action in hand myself and Sam here are holding the area known as the mosque In the final mission, there are five points across the map we have to hold, and we get points for each. Our team are pretty strung out right across the site, and it's just me and Sam here left to hold the mosque area. I've been taking sporadic incoming fire from range, and I pointed it out to Sam. No concerted effort or attack on this area as of yet. Some more incoming fire. Now I particularly enjoyed the Milsim format, it really adds to the level of, of strategy. And although we lost this, our team gave a good fight. I think the, probably one of the couple of factors that attributed to our loss was a lot of our players weren't familiar with the, the site. And so when you're saying we're holding the village, that doesn't mean any, to anyone who, anything to anyone who doesn't actually know where the village is. And uh, our commander was out of the comms loop. We did have quite a few people uh, with radios, myself included, and that really helped. But I think it was particularly difficult for Rod, uh, who wasn't in the, the loop, to be able to get an idea of, of where he had people, uh, where we were taking attack, or where we were getting pressured from. So I think if we were to do this again, I would definitely recommend that certainly our command is hooked up to the comms. Best we can do is just keep them away. We only need to hold this for 10 minutes. Yep. Well. There's some pyro going off in the background there, and I'm uttering the fateful words of we only need to hold this for 10 minutes or so. more incoming fire, keeping my head down and quite keen here now not to pop my head up again in the same spot where they've just been firing at me from also by moving around slightly it might give the impression that there's more than just the two of us defending this barricade
Sam's moved further to the the left. Around about now I hear him getting hit. Now knowing there's just the two of us I can't afford for him to be out of the, the game for any real length of time so I'm quick to move position and try and get a medic back in and realise that the, the enemy have made good ground up in my, this barricade and are very close now. They've also spotted me. Lots of shots coming in at the barricade. The plan here is just to pop my head up, take a few shots, hopefully take one down and then move on. But my aim is not in today, or at that point anyway. I managed to shoot all around Scott, but no hits, and take one myself. Now one final piece of gamesmanship here. The attacking forces don't know that it's only me and one other who's been taken out holding this base. So it occurs to me that if I shout medic they may think there's a couple more and slow down their attack hopefully holding them off long enough so that neither team will score the base. Scott Lobs are in a smoke so yeah he's obviously thinking there are more than me and Sam in here but you can see that we're thoroughly outnumbered there must be f six or seven of them here we wouldn't have held out for much longer and that was my last action of the the game. The final scores were the British forces scored seven objectives and the Argentinian commandos scored 15. Uh, I would definitely recommend the uh, Milsim style game to someone if you haven't tried it before and I will be uh, looking forward to my next one. So for now, this is Major Clanger out. <laughs>